In this lesson, we'll learn about the Cooler extension inside Adobe Photoshop CS4. Alright, now, having just explored the color picker inside Adobe Photoshop, we've really just sort of touched on how Photoshop handles color. Now, I'd like to introduce you to another tool that is going to be really helpful in choosing color palettes that harmonize well. It's called the Cooler extension inside Adobe Photoshop. This, this Cooler extension actually exists in several of the Adobe products, but we'll just go ahead and show it to you here in Photoshop. Now, typically this Cooler extension is hidden under our window drop-down menu, and we can look under Extensions here and find Cooler. Now, if we go ahead and select that, it'll open up this palette right here. Now this palette actually connects us to the Cooler website via RSS feeds. And the Cooler website is essentially an online community that revolves around color. Now if we explore this palette just a little bit, we're going to see that there's three buttons at the top. First there's this About button that has sort of some information about Cooler and some legal stuff going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this Browse button here. Now this, under this Browse button, uh, this Cooler palette is going to allow us to browse a number of already created, user created color palettes that have been uploaded to the Cooler website. Now there's, this is a really pretty robust tool that allows us to uh, search many different color combinations. Now there's a couple uh, searching options here. There's, we can browse these by highest rated here. If we drop that down we've got some other options, most popular, newest, uh, and so on and so forth. Now we can also have uh, sort of a time drop down menu here. We can look at all time or if just limit it to the last seven days or thirty days. Now in looking at the color palettes that, that come up default, uh, these are the highest rated palettes of all time. Now in looking at these, uh, there's all these color palettes consist of five colors. Uh, now there's some buttons down here at the bottom of this of this extension palette and we can explore these. This, uh, these two little double arrows allow us to cycle up and down, uh, moving down to the next grouping of color palettes uh, according to what's next on the, the Cooler website. Now this little button right here will allow us to refresh uh, the view here within within these color palettes. And then we have a couple other options. We can actually select one of these palettes and choose this button right here to edit that, that color palette. Or we can use this button right here to save that palette out to our swatch panel. Uh, now there's also a search field here. If we wanted to search for, let's just say, summer colors. We can do a search right here, and it's going to use that keyword to search Cooler's website and return a, a number of results with that keyword that is, has been tagged to the color palettes. So at this point, if we like one of these palettes, let's just say uh, we like this one right here, we can actually go ahead and just choose the Edit Theme button right here, and the Cooler extension will switch us over to this Create button and load that palette into it. Now this is the really cool area of this Cooler extension. Uh, it really allows you to create some interesting, awesome color combinations. Now we have just loaded this swatch panel in from, from the, uh, the Browse button here. This is the one we selected. And you can see here we've got several of the colors represented on our color wheel above. Now if we mouse over these little uh, round dots here, it'll highlight which of these swatches below uh, that, that that little marker is indicating. Now in the center here we have a, a large circle around one of these uh, little dots. And this is going to be our base color. This base color is right here. It says base color right over it there. Now in, in looking around this create uh, option or this create palette here, we've got sort of some other options. We've got this select rule here and it says custom right now and it does that because we've loaded in one of the uh, pre-created color palettes from the browse side, but we can come in here and actually choose any number of color harmony rules uh, that have been preset in here uh, to, to begin our process of, of exploring color. Now let's just say we wanted to look at some anal excuse me, analogous colors. We can go ahead and select that and well, it's actually moved all of our little circles to the center here uh, because we had that, that color palette loaded in. Let's just go in here and select maybe complementary and now we've still got five different color swatches we're working with here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of some of these. Let's just, uh, we can do that by selecting these color swatches down below. And there's these two little buttons right here. Now, if we wanted to get rid of some of these, maybe we don't need five colors. We can just come in here and use this uh, button right here to remove some of the color swatches from our palette. So let's just go ahead and take some of these out. And let's say that we want a complementary color. 
actually let's take let's go ahead and put this one back in and take this one out and you can see here we're working with complementary colors so uh, if we choose a, a red color over here similar to our primary red uh, the complement of that is going to be green it's exactly on the opposite side of the color wheel now there's a couple other features here I want to show you this this little slider right here affects the brightness so the brightness is changed by moving this up and down if we wanted to change the tint or the amount of white that is included in our colors we can actually grab them and pull them towards the center here now we skipped over just a couple of these buttons down here. I'd like to show you there's a button here to set the, the color to our foreground color or our background color. So I'm going to select the, uh, this one right here which will set it to our foreground color which is this blue right down here. And you can see how the base color changed to that blue. And it's actually giving us or trying to give us a complement for that. But we've got the brightness pulled down on that one. So if we move that up we've got uh, a nice complement to that blue here. Now if we wanted to switch the base color in our, uh, in our color palette here, all we would have to do is come over here and select our, uh, the, the, the color that is not our base color and then s just choose that little button right there. It's going to switch our base color, move that little white circle over to this orange color. Now again, we can come in here and let's say we want to choose an analogous color. Uh, and We've got two colors selected, so let's go ahead and let's add a third one in here and we can add up to a, a total of five colors and using this analogous rule it'll give us the analogous colors to whatever our base color is so as you can see here we've got uh, this sort of this this nice purple color set as our base color so it's giving us two colors on either side of that now if we were to drag that in it's gonna again reduce the tint of our colors and add some white in there and now you may notice that we've also got some RGB sliders down here. Now this is going to be the the values of red, green, and blue for the for the color we have selected. So if we wanted to change our base color, we could also change it manually down here with our sliders or by entering a number. We could also change uh, the other uh, excuse me and analogous colors here by selecting them and adjusting those. Uh, now we've also got a hexadecimal number here, which again that is going to adjust, or that's going to be the the hexadecimal representation for for web use on these colors. Now there's a couple of other buttons down here. There's a save theme where we can actually save our theme, and again we've got a save this theme to swatches uh, button here, which is really handy because if we let's say we wanted to save the colors we've got here over to our swatch palette, we would just hit that button and we could come over here to our swatch palette and notice we've got five new swatches here appended to the end of our swatch palette one for each of these colors uh, now this last button is a button that allows you to upload the palette to cooler let's say you have created a, a fun new palette and you wanted to upload it to cooler now again Cooler is an online community focusing on color, so we're not going to actually get into the website and the functionality of that right now, but this button would allow you to upload that color palette to the Cooler website. All right, so this is the Cooler palette in Adobe Photoshop. We've now explored a lot of the options that exist inside this Cooler extension. Now, I'd like to encourage you at this point just to open this extension up and start playing with it and explore some different color combinations on your own.